your news anchor, Olivia Waxman, and I'd like to introduce you to our new co-anchor, freshman Jada Strahan. Thanks, Olivia. Glad to be here. Hey, Jada. Did you hear about the sophomore class selling Pure Vita bracelets in the cafeteria? Yeah, I have one on right now. Be sure to check them out during your lunch wave. 2020 yearbooks are on sale now. They will be $60 through the end of December. Buy now to save. Hey, Olivia, I've been thinking about becoming a diamond girl. You should go see Miss Long in room one. Forms are due November 13th. Wow, thanks. I'll have to check that out. Seniors, your Harp Jones representative will be in the cafeteria during your lunch break on November 15th. Please bring your deposit of $60. Seniors, also keep in mind that your scholarship deadline is December 1st. See Ms. West Terry or Ms. Havard for more information. That's all for announcement this week. Let's go check out Rebel Rundown with Charles C. Okay. The cross country team wrapped up their season at the state meet last week, last Wednesday. Kevin Cooley placed sixth overall, Lexi Green placed 13th, both qualifying for the All-State team. Congratulations to our cross-country team on an outstanding season. The basketball team started their season last Monday against Pearl River Central. The Rebels will play tonight at home against Stone County. The girls at 6.15, the boys to follow after at 7.30. Let's hear from both of our coaches about the upcoming season. Well, the prediction for this season, I think, uh, first of all, just come out and play hard each game. Um, we got a lot of young players or players with inexperience this year that's going to come back and and uh, I think we're going to do some good things. It may take us a little while to get going but we're looking for good things by the time we get to district. Uh, just just picking up where we left off in the spring. Uh, worked hard this summer. Guys put a lot of effort in this summer, a lot of time and um, picked up in preseason and right now we're just getting started with, a, with the games and uh, we're just going to continue to work hard and, and get better as we go. I think some of our strengths will be our overall team speed and our quickness. Uh, of course, uh, on the opposite side of that, our lack of size is going to be a hindrance for us, but we hope to make up with speed and, uh, and be able to pressure the ball a little bit and create some points off of turnover. So I would say our speed and our effort right now is our strengths. Hopefully we, <clears throat> we want to make the playoffs. That's it. Uh, our prediction every year to begin the season. You know, we're going to play a non-conference game and work towards a playoff. Hopefully we can get in the playoff. Well, we, we had a strong uh, workouts on the beginning of the school year. Um, the past three months we've been going to the gym, working out, trying to get stronger. That way we're faster and we're more athletic, you know, to compete in our conference. Uh, run, lift weights, uh, shoot, dribble, ball handling, passing, you know, all, all the fundamentals of the game just to try to get better. Uh, strengths is our, our effort. We work very hard. The girls, you know, they enjoy playing with each other and they work hard. And our weaknesses is scoring. We have a hard time scoring, so we try to play good defense to try to force turnovers and get easy baskets. Last Friday night, the Rebels traveled to Meridian and defeated the Meridian Wildcats with a score of 34 to 8, securing a playoff spot for the Rebels. The Rebels will travel to the Gulfport this Friday night to face the Admirals in the first round of playoffs. You can buy your tickets at go, GoFan.com for $8. Make sure to come out and support your Rebels. Now back to Jane and Olivia. Wow, thanks Charlesy. That's all we have for this week. Thanks for watching.